Hi, Jen. Hey, Julie. How you so doing? I'm good, and I'm really excited about what you brought us. It has transparency and dimension and shine and glitter and all the things that I like. I know. It's really amazing. Bending wire, sculpting it, forming it. Oh, you gotta love it. Like, so how are we gonna, uh, so let's take a look at it okay. really quickly before we get started. I think so. And I can see that we're talking about color, we're talking about using a variety of different materials, there are things that are rusted, there are things that are shiny, that metal looks patinated, there's fabric, I mean, yeah. there's a lot here. There's a lot, that's a mixed media. Talk about make it artsy, baby. We like pulled it all out in the kitchen sink. Okay, so where are we gonna start on so this thing? So you gotta figure out where the starting spot is, and the starting point for me has got to start with the wire, right? Okay. So you you take your pliers that you have, a nice pair of chain nose right now, you start wire, work off of the spool, and then what you want to do is you just want to make a bend. Okay, just 90 degrees. 90 degrees. You want to make another bend, and you want to 90 degree that down. Now that's an awful big flower that I got going on there, but you know what? I can fix that up and I can straighten that up. I'm going to turn that over here, leave that tail, work with that later. I'm going to come back, I'm going to bring it up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start playing oh, you're with this like flower. Oh, really cute. Right? I see that. So and then just I'm going to bend it up again, and I'm going to come up here, and then I like making this. And then it's it's a little tricky to work off of the spool, right? But I was going to say you're working but, on the spool so you don't waste any wire, and right? And it's just easier, yeah. So you can have it to work off the spool. So then I can go back, and at this point I'll go ahead and just bring more wire down. Oops. So that's the thing about working off the spool. But then I'll start taking it, and now I can just put these pieces together, and I can just twist. Mm, and bring in all those petals together. Bring those petals together, and you just give it a couple of twists. Now, it looks like a hot mess right now, right? Like, seriously. <laughs> I, I know. don't think it looks I like know, a hot mess. Now, there's but... people that are, like, going to be like, okay, like, seriously, I cannot let go of control that Excuse much, me, right? I think the organic it feel is of an, it. You know what? It's all about organics for me. So you move it again, put this around, and then what's really fun about this is once you get that started, that's when you can go back because this wire is nice and soft. So you can actually start taking these, shape those with your fingers, and you can really get a very cool kind of flower yeah, look going here, gorgeous. right? Yeah, it's gorgeous. And then, really, attachment of this is you mm -hmm. just ball that up in the center. I was going to say, so all you would do is take the end of it and simply wrap it around yeah, there. Yeah, you just got to wrap that thing around here. Now, this is really cool, right? I love this. This is fine. You can stick that on an assemblage, but why not add some beads? Why, why not, not add, add some, some bling, baby? So to do that is I have cut um, a piece of annealed steel wire and I've got that started, and you can see that I've taken a bead, and I've just put it on a piece of wire, and I've made a loop, right? Okay. So now what I gotta do is I just have to wrap this around. So just adding to that knot in the center, but this time you have one end that exactly. has a bead on it. Has a so bead. it's gonna add those sort of center bright bits. Exactly, now look, to do this, this is so super simple. You take your pliers, and you just take that and you round oh, that wow. down. And then if it goes too far, you just go ahead and move this around. Again, organic, crazy, well, I thought you were gonna nature. just bury the end, but instead mm -hmm. you've made it decorative. And if we look I at the have. finished piece again, I can see how beautiful all of that is. But I know right. that there's more to this than just the flower. There's just the flower. So, you know, you gotta put that away and that's done. So what really makes this cool is the metal stamping. Now you yeah. can write it, you can add all kinds of stuff to this. This isn't really, but you know, metal and wire is kind of my thing. Jewelry and mixed media is kind of my thing. So one of the things I like to do is I like to take um, metal stamps and I like to just make an impression and you can make jewelry out of them or you can make mixed media. So to do that, what you want to do is you want to start with copper sheet. Super easy. You want to get yourself some shears and you just want to and shear And obviously these are off. shears that are meant for metal. You're not you using like your kitchen scissors. No, well these are these are kind of like all purpose. These things are awesome. You can put nuts and bolts and found objects. Oh. So any kind of tin snip kind of shears. Okay. But yeah, so they are metal, they're metal shears. They're not specifically jewelry shears, mm -hmm. but they're metal shears. So you want to cut your sheet metal down to size. This is 26 gauge copper. That's important because it's easy to cut, right? Yeah. 20 gauge a little bit harder. So then you want to The lower cut the it. number for people who don't know about metal, the thicker. The thicker, right. And you're like, if you're going to get that, that heavy metal, you're going to be like, and then it's not near as much fun as 26 gauge sheet copper, okay? So you want to get your piece that you have, 
and you want to go ahead and put this down. And what I like to do is I like to take a piece of painter's tape. If Finding I the end find of the tape the is always the most difficult the tape. part. You know what? I'm going to create, like, there's got to be an app for this or something, right? right? So you want to find the end of the tape. And then what you want to do is you want to take your steel bench block. Got to have a steel bench block because when you hit it with a hammer, it's got to have something to make that impression. Okay. okay? So you really need a steel bench block or a traveling anvil. And then what you want to do is you just want to take your tape and you want to put it down there and then that's going to make it so when you start using these stamps, it's that not going to jump metal. all over the place, oh my gosh. right? I realized it just when you were saying it, it's mm -hmm. such a smart, small thing, but it's the kind of thing that makes a process like this so yes. much easier. Yeah, because trust me, I didn't do this and then I'd be stamping and I'd be down four or five letters and it'd be all curling and jumping all over the and place moving. and like popcorn, so there not so much fun. So to metal stamp, what you want to do is you just want to put that down and then I'm going to show you right here where I have done most of the oops most of the stamping work so here we go we've only got a couple of letters left okay so c-h-a-o-t I need a t so, so obviously you have alphabet stamps there but mm -hmm. I know that you can get stamps that have designs and all sorts of stuff pattern stamps all kind of things I love alphabet stamps because I'm a storyteller right yeah. wordsmith so I need those alphabet stamps so I like them so what you want to do is you want to put it down in the metal straight down mm -hmm. you want to hold it tight you want to take a hammer these little stubby ones are actually really good for this you do not want to have be resting on a piece of tape and you want to hit it really hard once Okay. Mm -hmm. If you ghost it, you can move it around, but be careful not to pick it up because okay. then you'll end up ghosted image. Okay. So, so once we've done all our stamping, let's talk a little bit about assembling this magical right. piece. What are we doing? Right. So then what you want to do is you just want to take your pieces off and you just want to start putting it all together, right? So I've got, you know, pretend I've got this metal stamped already on here. I've got my perfect finished flower on here. And I'm just going to go ahead and put these down. I've got a board that I've already painted up. Right. You know, you can add extra. And you extra. just keep layering with your found and objects. And if we look back at the finished one, I can see there's drawing, there's painting, there's all sorts of things to make it really, really personal. I'm excited to get out the metal and add a little bit of bling. This is kind of a cool idea. Little corset. Just so you know, oh. this is symbolic of a corset. So you got to put your corset in there too, okay? <laughs> I love little, that. It's feminine bit. and yet strong. Feminine <laughs> and powerful.